Let's move on. There's another new kid on the block ahead of the May elections. Compatriots of South Africa will contest the polls for the first time. And today the party outlined its plan on how it wants to win votes. Party officials say the formation of the party was inspired by a lack of representation of what they call brown people. The party launched their manifesto in Port Elizabeth. Well, this party was established in 2018 with limited resources, but it now has strong roots in Northern and Western Cape. The compatriots of SA say it's only aiming for five seats in the National Assembly. It says while bringing dignity to Parliament, it will advocate for laws that create more jobs to alleviate poverty. The party called on its supporters to promote the party and recruit others to ensure that they reach their targeted votes. Party supporters say they want action and not empty promises. Party officials will also take the campaign to other provinces in the country. Well, the Eastern Cape-based Christian political movement will be vying for votes in the upcoming elections. The party launched its manifesto Mdansane today. A message of hope and change this afternoon, promising to build a strong economy and fast-track growth to create jobs. Also, a promise to root out corruption and prioritize education and skills development. The CPM wants to create incentives for small businesses to participate in the mainstream economy. It wants the government to stay out of what they've called church matters. Well, the EFF today took its election campaign to the Eastern Cape. Party leader Julius Malema headlined a provincial manifesto rally at the Walter Sasulu University State in, in Mtata. Malema says the Eastern Cape needs a government that is not corrupt for it to prosper. The EFF is also confident of a strong showing at the polls in May. The party holds two seats in the Eastern Cape legislature, while it holds eight seats in the Buffalo City Metro and six in the Nelson Mandela Bay. The Firebrand Party attracted crowds dominated by young people. Even those below the voting age threshold came to show their support. The EFF leader's list of promises includes access to health care in every village and has reiterated the party's commitment to free education. Julius Malema says the social grants will be doubled if his party is in government after the May 8th election. He also used the manifesto to urge supporters to treat migrants with respect. I'm a China. Some of them do not have papers. You don't call them amakwerefere. You don't beat them up. But you beat his fellow Africans. It is not only Nigerians and Zimbabweans who are committing crime in South Africa. Even our own South Africans are raping children, are raping old people, are killing women in South Africa. So let us not say it is only foreigners who are committing crime. The EFF says after winning the upcoming elections, it will revamp the way universities are run to make education even more accessible. And Malema used the Watasusulu University as an example. Under EFF government, a registration is a total direct for free of charge, is a total books free of charge. Computer lab here is going to be the best ever. The science lab here is going to be the best. We are going to pay your money on time. Not this thing that you are on NS fast. And when you stay outside, they don't pay your money on time. The EFF leader's election strategy was welcomed by those who attended the event. So what stood out for me is what always stood up in the policies of the EFF, that is the land expropriation without compensation. I was very excited that he touched it. What is going to happen here in South Africa, the corruption will be end. As soon as we vote for the EFF, it is a parliament, the EFF will be trans the country, the corruption will be dead. The taxing of pensions for deceased public servants is something the EFF says it will put to a stop. Malema promised beneficiaries of those monies to a reprieve if he becomes president. Simkita Matungwane, SABC News, Mtata.
The Socialist Revolutionary Workers' Party took its campaign to Krabo outside Cape Town. The party is also prioritizing land expropriation without compensation as part of its campaign for votes. Party leader Irvin Jim has vowed to advocate for workers' rights and decent jobs for those who are unemployed. The party is rallying supporters ahead of their official launch next month. For us, we are contesting the election very serious. We firmly believe that the working class will vote for us. But even if we do not get the seats as we expect, we're very resolute that we're using this election to popularize the party. The, the, the Socialist Revolutionary Workers' Party has arrived. You can see it for yourself. Well, tomorrow, Mr. Jim will take his campaign to Saldana Bay in the West Coast, where he will be launching branches and mobilizing support for his new party.